Welcome, Servita family. We are so excited to be doing a dive deep today into what is soon to be and already a finalist of a sports nutrition product of the year for 2020, our very own Servita Performance Fuel pre-workout product. We have today none, none other than the brain behind this product. This is um, Dr. Mark Miller. We are going to be talking with him today. He's going to take us dig, diving deep in, in between what is the formula, the science behind fuel as it was designed exclusively for us and what makes it stand out, what, land, what made it land on there on the finalists of Sports Nutrition Product of the Year, what makes it one of our top selling favorite products at Zervita, especially for those of you that are really looking to get into action and improve your performance, whether you are in the gym or, you know, like Adriel, running for the next marathon or like me, running behind your two-year-old. So whatever the case is, we're all looking to increase our performance and Fuel definitely does that. And so I want to bring on our friend and um, formulator behind the Fuel product for Zervita, which is our Dr. Miller. Dr. Miller, are you on? I am. Thank you very much, Eden. That was lovely. And um, I'm mentally coming to you from a beach in Costa Rica, but in fact, uh, uh, it's still mental at the moment. <laughs> I wish, wish I could do it live. Maybe I'll do that one day, but uh, uh, at least we're in a mindset here and, and uh, talking about one of my favorite uh, things, which is uh, the invention of fuel. Yeah. I love that. I Definitely love the mindset uh, setting. <laughs> I definitely love that. Take us through, you know, going into the um, experience of designing this product, um, knowing that we didn't want just a product for the athletes, but the products for the average person that needs to increase their performance. What makes fuel what it is? Yeah, so in the design process, what we're trying to do is sort of uh, multiple things at once. So we're trying to understand what's out there at the moment. What's the current offerings and what are the current types of approaches to enhance performance and, and uh, a variety of aspects, um, not only just for the elite athlete, but for the amateur athlete or the person trying to get off the couch for the first time and things like that. So when we were looking at that, we wanted to put it in perspective as well. We wanted to sort of check out what are the types of deliveries? What are the strengths and weaknesses? What are the biochemical, biological, biomedical buttons that they're pushing or not pushing? And how can we improve upon that? Where are, where are those strengths and weaknesses? What are their limitations as a sort of a delivery system as well? So. Uh, the vast majority of a pre-workout uh, product are generally shakes. Uh, and there's a reason for that, mainly because they like to use protein as the source for some of the outcomes that they're looking for. And um, we thought that we could push those biological buttons without all the protein. If you want to add the protein, you can do that. Uh, but we wanted to sort of explore possibilities without the protein. And the reason why we we're focusing on that was because the protein is a sort of a big volume. And if you go, go and do a workout and it's sort of sitting in your, in your stomach and it's sort of like, oh, really, do I want to work out how am I, how am I going to move this through? It, it sort of like is the antithesis of something quick, effective, immediate that you can take anywhere and in any situation, which gets us to another element. So in the design element, there's the biology. Uh, then there is the elements of say, can we do it without protein? And then that leads to an element of portability. And one of the key factors that we really felt that was important was to have something that, you know, is a single serve very, very convenient. You can take it anywhere. And uh, basically, you don't have to have water that you add to it. You don't have to have a bottle. I mean, all of those things are fine, but potentially 
for some instances and some people limitation. So you can put this in your bag, your purse, whatever you're doing, and take it with you and then just rip it off and take it. So portability, functionality, look at the what's already out there and try and design it in a better way. These are all part of the mindset that we were going through at the beginning. Um, then we come down to, okay, so that's your mindset. How do you actually execute it and what do you put it in there? And um, one of the key elements that we were looking at is what are the ingredients that people appreciate and understand and know and for excellence? And those are the sort of factors that we were looking into it. And it also had to be a, a, a component, an ingredient that worked within the sort of elements that we were trying to do with portability, delivery systems, stable, effective, tasty, all of those types of things. So what we did as a sort of a starting point was to look uh, at who won awards in 2019 for sports ingredient. And we actually looked globally. So it wasn't just in the USA. There was one winner in the USA. And um, I was at that award ceremony. And we also looked at the winners for Asia and Europe. And as it turned out, we could put all the winners into the product. In addition, we included some of the people, uh, some of the ingredients that were um, finalists as well. And so looking at all of that, we wanted to make sure what were the biological buttons that we were pushing and did they all work together? Did they make sense? Because you don't want them in conflict and you don't want them uh, producing contrasting results. So they were the key elements that we were going to in terms of design uh, up front. I love that because you gave us a couple of things. You know, I love, for example, for Zervita, the packaging was incredible, incredibly easy to take with you anywhere. I mean, people put it in their pockets. Um, I, I have a question. I'm going to throw out my question for you, Dr. Miller, but yeah. I put it in the fridge because I like it chilled. Now, can I do that? Is that okay? <laughs> if it works for you, absolutely. In fact, um, that's, a, that's a question that I probably didn't think of. So I love it when, when someone comes up with an innovative way to, 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 to work it. And I could actually see that working very nicely. Oh, the nice thing about you know, no. a, gel, a gel format is that that's pretty easy to do. Yeah. You know, when you have a, uh, a protein shake, you know, you, you make it up and you've got to you know, consume it then and there. Right. Well, these, uh, so these stack up in my fridge <laughs> and I love them chilled because one of the ingredients, remember, so if you haven't used this product, you know that you're going to notice right away the blood orange color. Mm -hmm. And I want you to talk to us a little bit about what comes what make what gives us that color and then let's go in and dig in into some of the ingredients that sets us so, so much apart yeah there's two ingredients that made it uh, blood orange and so on the flavor profile uh flavor profile we made a blood orange there's two ingredients make it look like blood it wasn't like you know i was watching endless episodes of twilight or something and thinking about vampires um the two ingredients uh, are one is a beet extract called red night and i'd used it previously in a product actually a sort of a protein type bar um, and did a clinical trial on it actually for strength performance it was quite effective at um, improving um, strength conditioning which was a little unusual for beets until then all the research showed that beets were primarily helpful for aerobic conditioning, you know, cycling, uh, high endurance uh, stamina aspects, not so much on the strength side. And so it was really nice to get Red Knight, this form of beet extract, uh, back into a product that has a little bit more, even greater flexibility uh, beyond strength, but over to aerobic as well. 
And the other uh, ingredient that's also red in there is one of my favorite ingredients because it's such um, an amazing component and we just don't get enough in our diet. It is a, a carotenoid. So it's, uh, that's what makes oranges orange is beta carotene. And uh, this one is a different one. It's the sort of vague family. It's called astaxanthin and it's the chemical that makes salmon pink, actually, and also flamingos and things like that. The interesting aspect about astaxanthin beyond its, its effects on the body, which are remarkable, is that uh, it is really kind of difficult to get in your diet. Uh, we just can't eat enough salmon on a regular basis to get enough astaxanthin in our diet. We don't tend to get it from other sources. Uh, so it was really important to make sure that you get your diet supplemented with astaxanthin. This was a great vehicle. So the red color comes from beets and astaxanthin. All natural, no fake coloring in this product. That's so cool because you're right. There is no way we can eat so much salmon. Um, but also from one of the things that we love about the, as the astaxanthin, as the same thing also is that high endurance um, that it provides us right and, and so mm. that it really um, just equips us in that now other ingredients in here um, that you can highlight that I know are so key when somebody's looking for a great pre-workout product to include into their routine well let's just take astaxanthin and add some of the other ingredients to it with a particular focus um, certainly it has, uh, first of all, astaxanthin is the most potent free radical scavenger known. Uh, it's about 6,000 times more than vitamin C. It's like who's an amateur by comparison to astaxanthin. And as, when we exercise, we're burning fuel in our mitochondria, our, our little energy plants inside our cells. And as they burn fuel, to make ATP, the currency of energy, we're creating free radicals. There's no way that you can generate ATP, this currency of energy, without making a free radical. So you have to be able to manage the free radicals. Otherwise, you get all this leakage of these rather toxic oxidants and you get all this damage in your cells. And, and uh, that's really responsible for stimulating the inflammation that you get after exercise, the delayed onset muscle soreness that, that plagues all of us who, who overdo it. So astaxanthin, I regard as the premier nutrient for, for mitochondria, but there are other elements in here that we really wanted to make sure that boosted mitochondrial performance. And one of them is, um, uh, the ability to shuttle fatty acids from outside the mitochondria into them in order to burn them for energy. And that's called L-carnitine. And it's really like a little transport per molecule that picks it up and takes it over the other side to make energy. The other uh, element is, you know, we have vitamin E in there, which is related. It's a sort of a chemical cousin of astaxanthin, but it's another element to make your mitochondria uh, working in tip-top shape. And if you're going to do any form of exercise, you really need them performing well. So we have a mitochondrial focus. We also have a vascular focus. So we want to, you know, obviously muscles need blood flow to deliver the nutrients and take away the waste products. And so you need to have the ability to promote good blood flow to muscles uh, and other parts of the body as well, obviously. And the, we have sort of two elements in that. We have the beets that we talked about before, because beets are an example of a vegetable that has high nitrate levels. Nitrate gets converted to nitric oxide, which is a vasodilator. And I did a lot of research on that back 30 odd years ago. And um, there's another element that helps boost nitric oxide levels in the product as well. It's called citrulline which is an amino acid, gets converted to arginine, another amino acid, and the arginine gets metabolized to make nitric oxide and it goes around in a bit of a cycle. 
So we're making sure we're getting plenty of nitric oxide, which is a nice vasodilator and does a number of other things. But in the, in the importance of exercise, it's mainly a blood flow phenomenon, as well as, again, assisting the mitochondria. So we're checking off boxes here for the product. We've got mitochondria, we've got blood flow. Uh, another one is just muscle strength and performance. And there is another amino acid coming up here. So this is uh, beta alanine. And it comes in a special trade name called carnosine, which is a really kind of important um, brand of beta alanine. And, and it's the ingredient that won ingredient of the year award in the USA in 2019. So beta alanine is particularly important for muscle strength and performance. There's lots of clinical trials showing that. It does have an interesting sort of side effect which, which is unrelated to the um, muscle performance enhancing actions of it. It has an action on um, nerves and you get this sort of little tingling phenomenon. Some people in the exercise community who are very experienced with beta alanines have the sort of concept that unless you're getting that particular tingling, the product's not working. And uh, that's fine. Not true. It's fine. <laughs> um, it just shows you're getting good beta alanine. Um, some people don't get the tingle. Don't worry about it. If you don't get the tingle, it's still working. The tingle's not related to it. It's just uh, an action of that particular amino acid on nerves. So we've got muscles. We've got mitochondria. We've got blood flow. We've got energy as well. Obviously, if you take it, you'll feel the energy. There's a number of other components in there that are contributing to that particular energy. Certainly there's natural caffeine in there. There's taurine, which is an amino acid byproduct known for its energy enhancement. And we also have vitamin B12, which is also gives you a little boost in energy. And that combination is particularly, I'd say fairly common as it relates to sort of exercise products. But we added an extra twist because we certainly did not want fuel to be regarded as being common. That's not the goal. And the extra twist that we added in there is an extract of a Southeast Asian plant called Alpinia galunga. And the brand name for that extract is called an extra. So galunga is often used in soups. It's an interesting little rhizome. Uh, the way I like to describe it is if ginger and turmeric got married and had a child, um, you'd probably end up with a pina galunga or something like that. Um, so that's a little sort of weird comment for the foodies out there. Um, the interesting thing about the clinical trials with an extra, this galunga extract, is that not only did it provide energy, in a similar way to sort of caffeine. But when it was combined with caffeine, it negated the sort of caffeine crash that you have uh, after taking caffeine. So everyone kind of knows that I drink a bunch of coffee or whatever, I get you know this uh, good energy from the caffeine. I enhance my sort of cognitive skills. I've got some mental performance going on, not just physical. But a few hours later, I'm sort of like, you know, headed for the couch and, and sitting down and, and sort of getting this crash. The fascinating aspect about the science with uh, an extra is that it negates that crash while at the same time also enhancing mental performance, mental decision making, all those sort of aspects. So it's really, um, something that uh, as a combination is incredibly valuable. And the only extra thing I wanted to point out is that so we've checked a lot of boxes, just did the energy box. We had to sort of check the carbohydrate box as well. Certainly when you're doing any sort of exercise, you're, you're burning fuel and, and, and carbohydrates are important. There's a limitation if you, we want to avoid sugar for or sugary products for obvious reasons. 
And what we've done here is we've used some rather sustained release um, long chain carbohydrates that assist <clears throat> in supplying sustained energy without having a really problematic glycemic index issue. And so uh, then to achieve that, and also some of the tricks, the science of creating the product in a gel format, uh, we used a product called Energy Smart, which is a combination of a starch with allulose, which gives us kind of sweetness, but also this long sustained source of carbohydrates, but not excessive. I mean, the whole <clears throat> product, you know, you've got what, five calories? I mean, it's, it's crazy town. So that's some of the ingredients in there. Um, the point of emphasis is that there was the winner in Asia and Europe, there was the winner in the USA, and there was the finalist in the USA. Um, no one, no one dares to do that. And we did it. I love the confidence in which you're really instituting in all of us in the powerhouse that is within this product. That was one of the questions that I had was, what is it about that an extra? And you talked about it. Mm. Um, I love for us to be able to, I, love, I, I have experienced the tingle and I have people on our team and our customers that say, you know, I can't live without the tingle that this gives me. And then other people are like, this is wrong. It doesn't give me the tingle. But I love that you re can reassure us that tingle or no tingle, the product is working and then you can feel it. And it's just a side effect, correct? Yeah, it's a sort of just a totally unrelated reaction. Um, you know, quite frankly, I don't need the tingle, could care less about the tingle. My goal was not to create a tingle. You know, I'm much more dedicated to the sort of real biochemistry that's leading to performance without, you know, um, these sort of sensational type things. And, but there's a lot in the community that say without the tingle, it's not working. But <laughs> So for those, it's there. Whether um, but the scientist is <laughs> a little batty about the tingle. My God, the tingle. We'll make a t-shirt for Dr. Yeah. Miller that says tingle or no tingle, fuel is amazing. <laughs> exactly. Because of the science. Um, and, and I and, um, enjoy when you mention and you talk about the three winners and finalists of sports, sports ingredient of the year um, that are in this product, which is separates it so much from anything that's out there. Now, when it comes to, you know, you are, this is your, your livelihood, the be being behind the scenes of formulating these products and the research and the science, what would you say is, you know, there's a lot of things that we mentioned, higher energy, vascular um, an area and the blood flow. We talked about the functionality. We talked about the, the mitochondrial focus. What exactly, you know, can I take away from incorporating fuel into my routine? Do I need to go out and use it before a workout? Can I, is that exclusively when I use it? Can I incorporate it into my routine? What's the best way that you believe that I can be utilizing this product um, on a daily basis? Well, it's certainly, you know, designed to be a pre-workout product. Um, but you don't have to sort of go to the gym in order to be using this. This could be for anybody. Um, you know, it could be uh, just to get you through the day, depending on what you're, you're doing for work or in, in, in whatever circumstances, social isolation. Um, it was designed to be portable. You could take it if you're kayaking. You could take it if you're hiking. You don't have to do all these sort of other things that were limitations before. But I would definitely say pre-workout, do not uh, take it just before bedtime. Not that I've tried, but uh, that's not the design. <laughs> you may be up for a while, get a good book. Um, but I, I would say whatever is your convenience factor, pre-workout uh, is the main element. Whether that's, you know, chasing your two-year-old around the house in, in, in your particular case, or, or you're at a gym or you're um, hiking, you know. 
I love it. Before, how much time before I'm going to go into one of these activities, should I take the product immediately? Does it matter? Can I take it in between my workout uh, or my, my strenuous activity? Or should I wait, you know, 10, 15 minutes before I'm going to go ahead and start this type of activity? It's an interesting question because people think that there's a certain rigidity to it and there's not a certain rigidity. You'll get the benefits. Um, it, look, if it, it if you take it five seconds before the workout, it's going to take a little while for some of those nutrients to be absorbed and get in. It is designed to be a fast absorbing delivery system. So the more you back it up, uh, the more likely you get those benefits during the workout. Um, so I say ideally half an hour, but if it's 10 minutes, it's 10 minutes. Love it. If it's an hour, it's an hour. Um, it's designed with a degree of flexibility based on its rapid absorption. Love it. And in terms of, um, you know, for those of you that have not tried uh, fuel, it's a part of a system that Dr. Miller formulated for us in the Vita performance system. So today we're focusing on fuel for obvious reasons, because it's amazing, but there are two other elements, you know, even in the packaging and the art, um, and the marketing of it, you can see how it ends with the number one, and that's the step one to the system that Dr. Miller has formulated for us. And what's incredible about that is, tell us a little bit, this is about fuel, but tell us about the power, there it is, the power behind using this system together and does it enhance what fuel provides? And, and then I want to talk to you a little bit about how does fuel work with Zeal, um, our flagship product here at Zurita. Certainly. Yeah, so we talked a lot about the elements of the design and that all the sort of biomedical buttons we were trying to push and, and optimize processes and things like that. But we also realized that there are different phases in a workout and the demands on your body have different uh, change with time and it depends on the nature of the workout as well. So uh, one of the things that we wanted to do was to make sure that there was adequate hydration. Certainly, you know, uh, you'll sweat uh, and, and hydration is a big issue. So we wanted to make sure that we had a hydration product and, and it beautifully came out uh, is the number two of these three system products. So the H2O, I love that. Uh, a little bit of chemistry throwing in there. It's number two, perfect. Uh, the idea there was to understand that, you know, uh, with s sweating and exercise, we wanted to get hydration as quickly as possible. We wanted to get certain nutrients in there. We wanted to get certain vitamins. Uh, we wanted to get um, some carbohydrates in there. But again, we didn't want it to go in a big burst. That's really where the problems come in carbohydrates is when there's, you ingest simple sugars and the body absorbs in a, in a big sort of lump. And then the, the body can't handle it and it creates the sort of problems we see with you know, um, mismanagement of blood glucose. So we wanted to make sure that there was this sustained release of carbohydrates. The carbohydrates do some other little trick too. So when, when they're being absorbed, they drag along water with it as a sort of an osmotic action. It's, it's an entourage where uh, when you get this absorption, you bring in other water. And that's true for the other elements in there, where, which is, you know, amino acids. So we wanted to make sure that, you know, those uh, come in as well. But mainly the real focus was on the carbohydrates being a sustained release and a variety of antioxidants and um, um, particular vitamins. We also wanted it to be super, super flexible in use primarily. So it's a, it's a stick pack. You can add it to uh, a, a bottle and add the appropriate amount of water that uh, works for you. And uh, we just wanted it to be flexible, portable, but use it for all sorts of circumstances. Hey, we're approaching summer. In fact, in Texas, I'd say we're in summer. <laughs> it's, um, use it during the day you know you don't have to be exercising to to have a need for hydration we all need to have um, a high volume of fluids in us to flush out waste products and keep the body functioning perfectly and this h2o product 
was designed to be used for both exercise as well as um, just the heat of summer as well as <clears throat> getting through the day. The third, third element of this sort of conceptual platform of performance products was the repair product. So there was the E and repair got converted to number three. I love it. Great design. I'd like to take credit for the packaging design, but that would be unfair because I didn't do that. But, uh, that we will leave to our team at Zervita. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Zervita team. Um, yeah, shout out to the creative team. Um, they did a really, really amazing job to, I, I think, to, to bring to life the, the level of detail. And, and I believe like you can feel the love and the formulation of these products. And so we wanted to, to be innovative too um, yeah. with, the, with the design of the art as well. And, and, and also the, the continual nature of this. This is a sequence and your body is going through different demands at different times. So the repair, the, the number three in the sequence is a sort of a post-workout product. And the idea here is, you know, there's um, exercise associated inflammation. And that gives you all the muscle soreness. Anyone who's worked out or done more than they perhaps should have, or you, you're, you've not worked out and you're just starting, you know, these are the elements that sort of keep you back on the couch instead of maintaining your program, which you need to do. And so the repair was designed to limit that exercise associated complications related to inflammation. Now, you know, I'm an inflammation sort of guru. I've been um, doing research in that area since 82, actually. Um, yeah, a long time. It's a passion of mine. And so one of the elements related to that was make sure that we effectively uh, don't let this inflammation associated with exercise get out of hand and lead to something else. And... Um, you know, as a prelude to the, the, the call, we're talking about uh, how I've had a bunch of old injuries and things like that. And the reason why I can still exercise and get around is because I manage them with products like Repair. So again, there's a, there's a degree of flexibility here. Yes, it absolutely is part of this platform for your uh, sports performance, but it doesn't have to be sports performance. It could be just living. And there's so many of us who have issues uh, related to whatever's been in their background that repair can help with. And so, you know, it may be in all sorts of elements that will help them. And you don't have to do it related to exercise. I need to do a shout out to Jamie Yount. He, he's doing something that, uh, uh, again, I didn't think of, but it excites me. So a little bit like, you putting your fuel in the refrigerator. What he likes to do is combine H2O and repair as a, a beverage in the evening before going to bed. And so much of the body's repair is done at night when we're sleeping. We, we underestimate it. And I thought, wow, that's fantastic. One, it's a great uh, combination. And you can certainly combine them together taste-wise. But functionally, biomedically, that's a really interesting combination. And uh, it's got my you know, brain thinking about, yes, that, that's a great recommendation. Just take it in the evening before you go to bed and, and you wake up you know, less sore. It's, it's, it's a great idea. I love that because showing our customers um, and our the users of our products different ways to use the product. I mean, the reality is that Sometimes we invest in a product and we have it right there and we haven't started it. Either we don't know how to use it or we just forget to use it. And so if we can find fun and different ways to just incorporate it into our routine. So I love, so he mixes up these two, which yes. tastes amazing. Um, my two-year-old loves H2O. Now we're not talking about all these products, but they're a system. So we wanted to, and it's safe for him. Um, and when, whenever he's been sick, instead of reaching for the 
well, I shouldn't say this, but I will. I mean, instead of reaching for other products that yeah. have tons of sugar and are not good for him, you know, I can mix this up with some water and put it in his sippy cup and he loves his orange drink. Um, and so I want to end with this, Dr. Miller. We have, of course, at Zerid, our national spokesperson, Deshaun Watson, confessed to us that he'd never used a pre-workout product in the past because he was afraid about the reactions. We got him using Zervita Performance, which he is the face of, and he is loving fuel because he said it makes him feel great. I mean, it gives him that extra kick. And of course, um, I have to do a plug here, but it is informed sports certified, which means, and I know you for one, are, are, you're a big proponent of what it means to have this certification on our products, um, which is uh, really supported by uh, testing and ensuring that no banned substances are used on these products, which is great for athletes, but also for average consumers too. Absolutely, I mean, the, uh, Rob Graf and I pioneered the introduction of informed choice, informed sport into the USA. And one of the main drivers for that was because it was the right thing to do. It, you, you can't go wrong when your focus is doing the right thing, right? And uh, the last thing we wanted to do was to have an introduction of a banned substance involved in one of our products. And it, it, again, you focus on doing the right thing, but also validate it by doing the certification to prove it. So it's not just sort of like an attitude, it's an attitude mixed with an action to get to where you need to be. And I, I'm, I'm delighted that Deshaun uh, uh, loves the product. Am I surprised? No, I'm not surprised. <laughs> it, why does design, it, it it's absolutely should do it. But, but people, I love that degree of skepticism. I'm not, I've never experienced or I'm not convinced that this would do something for me and you try the product and actually wins them over. I'm never surprised, but I enjoy the experience of them converting over. So yeah, good luck to you, Deshaun. Uh, for sure, thank you, Dr. Miller. And just in closing, you know, at Servita, Zeal for Life is our flagship product, the ingredients and the nutrients. Um, you also helped um, formulate Zeal Plus, mm -hmm. which we will definitely have to do a dive deep into because it almost serves as the pinnacle for then coming out with the Servita Performance collection that we came out with last November. And, um, but, but how does fuel work with Zeal? Well, Zeal is a just a premier wellness product. So uh, one of the things that it's trying to do is make sure that you get back into the center point. Let, let me describe the ultimate goal for good health. And that is that the body is full of these different systems that counterbalance each other. And poor health is involved when one side of that seesaw is overreactive and the other's sort of like not keeping up its end and it's not balancing things out. There are a number of different processes within the body that reacts to certain nutrient stimuli and, and, and its real goal is to make sure that all these systems are balanced and therefore you're in good health. And that's the definition almost you know, of wellness. And zeal with all its variety of different sort of plant-based nutrients uh, is giving you the tools to get back into that state of balance. And uh, you know, it's a premier product. It sure is. And so um, with that, I just want to thank you for your time. I mean, this has been incredible, so fun to dig into fuel and learn. Um, I, I kind of tapped into my science geeky side of like, ooh, that's so, I haven't been so excited about mitochondrial and blood flow and the color of a beetroot, but um, you definitely made it enjoyable. Just in closing, uh, I want love for you to, to just, you know, in closing, reiterating, right? It is a pre-workout product, but 
I love uh, our tagline for bodies in motion, which is not just for the athletes or the Deshauns of the world, but for anybody. And so closing words, Mr. Uh, Dr. Miller, on uh, fuel and the usability for everybody. Oh, it's absolutely designed for that. You know, the purpose here was not just to uh, help the people who are in the gyms and, and lifting you know, great weights or, or some aerobic performance, you know, a triathlete or something like that. Absolutely, it works for them. But it was designed for everyone. And it may actually uh, give you the sort of energy kick in the rear to get off the couch get some exercise and enjoy things. But, you know, I don't care if you're in an office setting and you're just struggling to get through the day and get all your jobs done and you need a boost and fuel gets you through the day to do that. And you, you, you haven't left your chair. If it works for you to do that, do it. But uh, the idea is to get exercise because exercise is also such a great tonic for the body to get you healthy. So yeah, chasing the two-year-old, climbing a mountain, <laughs> in a kayak, uh, professional athlete, amateur athlete, broken athlete like myself, <laughs> all of the above, enjoy it. Thank you, Dr. Miller, we definitely will. It's been such a pleasure to, to kind of pick your brain on fuel. We can't wait to come back to you with more uh, sessions like this, digging into other of our products. But for today, this is all. And we hope that you take us on really experiencing for yourself how incredible this product is. Put it in the fridge um, or mix it up with others and really enjoy the benefits of Zervita Performance Fuel. So thank you all. Have a good night. Cheers.